dear students and a very warm welcome to all of you on behalf of Ediora. This is your biology faculty, Dr. Dhruvi Parekh. So now let us deduce the type of gametes in a trihybrid type. That means we will be considering three traits now. Come on, let us check. But I'll give you a twist here so that your concepts can get clearer. Let us say I am considering capital R, small r. That means round and wrinkled. I am considering capital Y, capital Y, both. Both capital Y only. Only yellow. Okay. And capital T, small t. Again. Now tell me the type of gametes over here, children. We know type of gametes is 2 raised to n. Now what is your n going to be here? Come on, tell me. How many heterozygous traits are present? Heterozygous, both different. Capital R, small r, one. Capital T, small t, second. Is capital Y, capital Y a heterozygous trait? No. So even if I am using it, but I will not consider it while counting n. I will only consider capital R, small r and capital T, small t, that means Heterozygous traits are only 2. So n is equal to 2 here. So I will get 4 gametes only, 2 square that is 4. So 4 types of gametes only. Come on, let us deduce. What will be those 4 types of gametes? Tell me children. So it is going to be capital Y that is going to be in every gamete. And it will be capital Y, capital R, capital T capital Y, small r, capital T, capital Y, capital R, small t, capital Y, small r, small t. These are the four types of gametes. The capital Y is going to be in all the gametes. There are no variations in it and that is why we do not consider the homozygous traits. We only consider the heterozygous number of traits when we want to count the time of gaps. Understood this? I'll be signing off now, but see you guys in the next session with some more interesting topics. Till then, keep learning, keep watching Ediora. Thank you.